I'm Will O'Neill, Editor-in-Chief of Tech Radar. I'm here today with Will I Am yeah. and Avi Reichenthal from 3D Systems. So you guys actually had a pretty big announcement today. So Will, tell us about why you're excited to be with 3D Systems. Well, I'm going to be completely honest. If I was with just any ordinary 3D printing company, I would be excited. <laughs> but to be with the best 3D printing company is mind-blowing. Just the level of, of uh, technology and the, the printers that they have in the marketplace from SLS machines to titanium machines to plastic tube, you know, uh, machines for your home, you know, the cubes, the scanners. It's just the, the premium company in 3D printers. So to be a part of the conversations on, you know, how to bring popular culture into the conversation, the, 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 the belief that they have in me to do that, I'm just honored and blessed to, to be in this situation. Very cool. So now when it comes to 3D printing, so something that you mentioned earlier, you were talking about you know, people being able to do this, like, like my glasses or, or other like, or, or fashion devices. Now, how do you see the world of intellectual property playing out in the world of 3D printing? Well, that's a, that's a, that's a very, very, mm -hmm. my world, mm -hmm. music, intellectual property and music, films, because of computers and synthesizers and, you know, these applications that allow you to, you know, do things that make you, you know, raise the red flag on, hey, because we've learned from what my world did wrong mm -hmm. and where the, the creative people didn't embrace the technology, that's when it got funky. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now that we've learned from that, how can we not let that happen for this side? Mm -hmm. So avoiding Napsterization in 3D printing is something that both Will and I are very uh, committed to. And within 3D systems, the platforms that we have like Cubify.com, we have safe, secure content with digital rights management. And we want to do it in a way that encourages brands and creatives to come play with us because it's going to be safe, secure, and protected and monetizable by the people that create the content. That's what we're committed to. And if it's up to us, you know, we're not going to have an Napster disaster <laughs> on our watch. Also, when it comes to 3D printing and, and walking around the show floor and, and looking at a, a lot of the things that people are actually printing, a lot of the things are sort of fun, kind of trinkets and kind of toys. At what point do you think the technology is going to get to a place where people are actually 3D printing actual usable devices as opposed to, to things that are, that are more like fun things? Um, I think there, it's going to be things like, you know, accessories for your hardware, covers for your tablets, watches wristbands like that, glasses. And that's the reason why 3D Systems is amazing because you're able to print things in metals. Uh, you're able to print things you know, in plastics and nylons and ceramic. The future looks the way it does when I say 3D printers in your home because of the robust technology that 3D Systems have. Absolutely, and as to the one, I think it's happening already. And it's happening because you can begin to make beautifully crafted, co-created, immersive experiences that allow you to accessorize, allow you to decorate, allow you to live your life in 3D. And it's not about teaching people about new consumption behavior or enabling and sponsorship behaviors. It's about unleashing people's creativity and self-sustainability in ways that have not been imagined before. In shoes, in belts, in accessories, in purses, in edibles. I mean, uh, we're launching here at the show uh, the first ever chocolate printer, the first ever candy printer, the first ever ceramic printer, allowing you to do things that you could never do on a potter's wheel, and it's delicious. <laughs> I have to try one. this. This one, Will, it's really good. It is tasty. Cool. Awesome. Well, well thanks a lot, guys. I, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to tell me about this and talk about this exciting new partnership you have going. And uh, for more information, be sure to check out techradar.com slash CES.